In today's video, we are going to talk about factoring trinomials in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. And we are going to explain everything in details. So let's have the first example. On number 1, we have x squared plus 5x plus 6. So as you can see, the given expression is written in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. Wherein, this one is what we call the quadratic term. And this will be linear term or what we call the sum of the roots. And this will be the constant or what we call the product of the roots. Since the value of A is equal to 1, what are we going to do in order for us to factor this one? So to find the factors of this one, let us have the factors of x squared, that is x and x. If you are going to multiply x and x, you are going to have x squared. And what are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get 6. And if we add, we can get 5. And that is positive 3 and positive 2. That is 3 times 2, that is 6. And 3 plus 2, that is 5. And this will be our answer. And if you want to check your answer, let us simply multiply this one. So we have x times x is x squared. And x multiplied by 2, that is 2x. And 3 times x, that is 3x. And 3 times 2, that is 6. So let us add this one. This will be x squared plus 5x plus 6. It is the same with our given. So this will be our answer. On number 2, we have x squared plus 8x plus 15. Since the value of a is 1, what are we going to do is to find the factors of x squared that is simply x and x. And what are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get 15. And if we add, we can get 8. And that is positive 5 and positive 3. That is 5 times 3 is 15. 5 plus 3 is 8. And this will be our answer. Example number 3, we have x squared minus 7x plus 12. So how can you find the factors of this trinomial? So let us write the factors of x squared. The factors of x squared, that is x and x. And what are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get 12. And if we add, we can get negative 7. And that is negative 4 and negative 3. So to check, we have negative 4 times negative 3, that is 12. And then... Negative 4 plus negative 3, that is negative 7. And this will be our answer. On number 4, we have x squared plus 3x minus 40. So let us have the factors of x squared, that is x and x. And what are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get negative 40. And if we add, we can get positive 3. And that is positive 8 and negative 3. 5. So 8 times negative 5 is negative 40, and 8 plus negative 5, that is positive 3. And this will be our answer. On example number 5, we have 2x squared minus 3x minus 2. So how can you find the factors of this trinomial, especially if the value of a is not equal to 1? So some teachers may be able to teach their student by means of trial and error method. But this time, I'm going to show you two different ways to find the factors of the given trinomial. So the first step that we're going to do is to multiply the value of a and the constant, that is 2, multiplied by negative 2, that is negative 4. And what are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get negative 4. And if we add, we can get negative 3. And that is negative 4 and positive 1. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus 1, that is negative 3. So let us write 2x squared. And then, we are going to put these numbers wherein we can factor the first term and last term. So this time, I'm going to put first negative 4, and then let us have x, followed by 1, and then x. And then I'm going to write negative 2. So as you can see, negative 3 is being replaced by negative 4x and 1x. Because if you add negative 4x and 1x, you are going to come up with negative 3x. So let us factor by group. 
So the greatest common factor of 2x squared minus 4x, that is 2x. And then let us divide. 2x squared divided by 2x, that is x. Negative 4x divided by 2x, that is negative 2. And the greatest common factor of 1x and negative 2, that is positive 1. And then 1x divided by 1, that is x. Negative 2 divided by 1, that is negative 2. Since we have x minus 2, the other factor will be 2x plus 1. And this will be our answer. So the other technique that I'm going to show you is what we call the box method. So let us draw a box and then let us divide it by 4. The first box will be AC, second will be B, and then A over factor, A over factor. Since the value of A that is 2, B that is negative 3, and C that is negative 2. On our first box, we have AC, that is A multiplied by C that is negative 4. That's 2 nega times negative 2. And the value of B that is negative 3. So again, what are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get negative 4. And if we add, we can get negative 3. And that is negative 4 and positive 1. So the value of A that is 2. And the first factor that is negative 4. So to simplify, 2 over negative 4, this will be negative or positive 1 over negative 2. And then the value of A that is 2, the other factor will be 1. So to write our answer, we have 1 as the numerator. This will be 1x minus because we have negative. And then we have 2x1 or it can be written as x minus 2 times 2x plus 1. So we come up with the same answer. What about number 6? We have 3x squared plus 8x minus 3. So let us simply multiply the value of a and the constant that is 3 times negative 3, that's negative 9. And what are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get negative 9. And if we add, we can get positive 8. And that is positive 9 and negative 1. So 9 times negative 1 is negative 9. 9 plus negative 1 is 8. So let us write 3x square, and then we are going to put these numbers wherein we can factor 3x square and negative 3 together with this number. So I'm going to put first 9x followed by negative 1x, and I'm going to write negative 3. So 8x, that is 9x minus 1x. So let us factor by group. The greatest common factor of 3x square and 9x, that is 3x. Then let us divide. 3x squared divided by 3x, that is x. 9x divided by 3x, that is 3. And the greatest common factor of negative 1x and negative 3, that is negative 1. Negative 1x divided by negative 1, that is x. Negative 3 divided by negative 1, that is positive 3. Since we have x plus 3, the other factor will be 3x minus 1. And this will be our answer. And if you are going to use box method, you are going to come up with the same answer. Our last example, we have 4x squared minus 4x minus 3. So how can you find the factors of this expression? So since the value of a is not equal to 1, what we are going to do is to multiply the first and the constant that is 4 times negative 3, that is negative 12. What are the two numbers? If we add, we can get negative 4. And if we multiply, we can get negative 12. And that is negative 6 and positive 2. Negative 6 times 2, that is negative 12. Negative 6 plus 2, that's negative 4. So let us write 4x squared. And we are going to put these numbers wherein we can factor the first and last term. So this time, I'm going to write first positive 2 x followed by negative 6 x and I'm going to write negative 3. So let us factor this one. The greatest common factor of 4 x squared and 2 x that is 2 x and then let us divide 4 x squared divided by 2 x that is 2 x and 2 x divided by 2 x that is 
1. And the greatest common factor of negative 6x and negative 3, that is negative 3. And then, negative 6x divided by negative 3, that is positive 2x. And negative 3 divided by negative 3, that's positive 1. Since we have 2x plus 1, the other factor will be 2x minus 3. And this will be our answer. And if we are going to use box method, let us draw a box. Let us divide it by 4. A, C, B, A over factor, A over factor. The value of A, that is 4. B, that's negative 4. C is negative 3. Since we have A times C, that's 4 times negative 3, that's negative 12. And the value of B, that's negative 4. So again, what are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get negative 12. If we add, we can get negative 4. And that is negative 6 and positive 2. Since the value of A, that is 4, I'm going to write negative 6 first. Negative or 4 over negative 6, that is 2 over negative 3. And then this one, this will be A, that is 4. And then the other one that is 2. So this will be 2 over 1. So to write the factors, this will be 2x and we have negative and then let's add 3. And then we have 2x and then we have positive 1. So this will be our answer. It is same with our answer before. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.